The next exercise is over here. Which operation will we do first? In this case, we do addition first. Are you surprised? It just so happens that when division is written with this line here, the fraction line, then it implies parentheses there. They are not written usually, okay? But there is actually as if there was parentheses here and here, if there was, you know, a calculation here. So that means we do addition first. And at the same time, I will also calculate this. The exponent, I get here 1000, and then times, and over here, 120, and then over 10. Now I have the situation where there's only multiplication and division. So now I can actually do them in either order. And this one here, if I divide first, I get here 12, right? And so we get 1,000 times 12, which, which would be 12,000. Let's see if it fits here. Let me show you also, in case you have doubts, if I multiply first, what happens? I'm going to copy this expression here. If I multiply first, I have 120 times 1000, so I get 120,000 divided by 10. And so that again is 12,000. So when you have only multiplications and divisions left, then you can choose which ones to do first. 5 times 8 divided by 4, that's pretty easy, right? If you divide first, we get 2 here, 5 times 2 equals 10. If you multiply first, you get 5 times 8, 40, divided by 4, equals 10. I want to just real quickly show you the reason why, if you only have multiplications and divisions, you can actually divide first. And that is because each division can be written as a multiplication. Divisions are multiplications. And this is how it works. 5 times 8. And then there's a division by 4, but I can write it as a multiplication by 1 fourth. So the division by 4 is the same as multiplication by 1 fourth. It's reciprocal. And so now you can clearly agree, right, that if there's two multiplications, you can either multiply these first or these first. Which operation would you do here first? There's multiplication, addition, division, multiplication. Now, the addition will be done last. And we have this here and this here. This part here only has multiplications and divisions, and this part here only has multiplications and divisions. And we will add last, okay? So I can solve this first. This one here will be 8. This one here, there's 4 times 2. Well, that's 8. 16. Now my last example is maybe a little bit more difficult simply because we have a decimal number to use. Find the value of the expression x squared divided by x plus x when x equals 0 0.4 or 4 tenths. Okay, find the value of this expression. That means we need to substitute this number in place of x over here. So let's do that. I write 0 0.4 or 4 tenths squared over 4 tenths plus 4 tenths. Now we need to calculate its value using order of operations. Now you remember that this has implied parentheses here for both the top and bottom part. So we need to do this before we divide. We need to do this before we divide. The division is done last. And uh, that is always true when we are using fraction line to indicate division. Over here, I have 0 0.4 squared. So that means, let's write it out in case you have forgotten. It means 0 0.4 multiplied by itself. This one is easy. I can add and get a tenth. Now, decimal multiplication, do you remember? 
multiply as if there were no decimal points. 4 times 4. And then you need to have as many decimals here as there are in total in the factors. One decimal here, one decimal here, so I need two decimals here, like that. And then we get to have a decimal division. Okay, how did that go? If your divisor is a decimal, then if you don't have a calculator, the idea is to change this whole problem so that the divisor becomes a whole number. And to do that, we multiply both of these by 10, or 100, or 1000, and so on. In this case, multiplying both by 10 is enough, because then this becomes 8, and this becomes 1.6. It is the same principle as we use in equivalent fractions, multiplying both by some same number, because then the value of the whole expression, the value of this division problem, does not change. And now lastly, this is easy now, we get 2 tenths. Alright, I hope this was helpful and we are all done with the lesson.